The Atlanta Falcons with a 4 and 12 record last year in 2020 and currently sitting with negative 15 million dollars in cap space. <laughs> Me personally going into the 2020 season, I had high expectations for the Atlanta Falcons to possibly make a push to winning the division, but unfortunately end up coming in last place in the NFC South. Man, it's going to be a lot more of that because they can't do nothing. What can they do? I mean, what can they do? Yeah. They're, they're they, in the hole. They, all, uh, and all, all their best players are getting paid right now, too. Their it's biggest industry. problem is overpaying players. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, part of that is the owner, right? The owner they got, you know, you, you, it's kind of like a Jerry Jones thing. You get in good with the owner, he, he'll prioritize you staying on the roster uh, no matter what the price. That's what Julio Jones got going on right now. Him and Arthur Blank, they you know they do their contracts through handshake deals, basically. So he's what always going to be. Who uh, Julio? Yeah, he got a move. Trade rumors. He got a move. They before can't afford to keep about, him. About him, they can if they restructure his contract to do what same, though? Same thing with Julio Jones. Like I feel like currently right now, where you have Julio and Matt Ryan on the roster, you're in win now mode. Yeah. You can so I, I I do agree with you. You have to move on from Julio and Matt Ryan, but who's taking Matt Ryan? Well, I mean, a couple teams. That's he's true. a he's a he's still a very good, very very good NFL quarterback. Like there are a number of teams. I mean, what about the Patriots? Of uh, well, they take Matt Ryan in a in a heartbeat. If he You're was twenty seven million dollars <laughs> this year. Hey, I'll tell you this much. I bet you the Dallas Cowboys would much rather have Matt Ryan at $27 million than Dak Prescott at 40 mm. uh, Yeah, but I'm, how old is Matt Ryan now? What, 32, 33, maybe? Mm-hmm. Look. That's not bad, though. That's still young, though. It's not hey, like you can pay, over the hill. You can pay Matt Ryan $27 million the next two, three years. You can pay Dak Prescott $40 million the next five, six years. How you want to play it? Save some money. You're right. I agree. Hmm. You're not. You're what, not you're, what weapons he has in Dallas too? Oh man. You're not. You're not yeah. keeping. You're not keeping Matt Ryan for twenty seven million dollars for the next couple of years. Why not? The, Why not? The Cowboys. The Cowboys. The Cowboys have have uh, they have a degrading O line basically, uh, but they have wide receivers. They got a good running back. Put Matt Ryan on that team. That offense is moving. I don't know about that. The way that offensive line played last year, yeah, and that defense no, is thirty five. Worth nothing, but <laughs> thirty five right now. Thirty five. So. Damn, I didn't even. Know. Well, he's thirty five. Well, uh, I thought like, he was younger. 40. That's a, mm. uh, a, a what a fifty a fifty seven year old mm. quarterback just won the Super Bowl. So I'm not too I'm not too be, be, <laughs> beleaguered by these uh, by quarterbacks' ages anymore. <laughs> Dak deserves his money. <laughs> I must say he don't deserve it. Shout out I'm to Uncle say, Fred in the chat right yeah. now. Shout out to I'm Uncle saying he don't deserve it. I'm saying he don't deserve it. Dallas don't want to give it to him. Yeah, <laughs> Dallas don't want to give it to him. We are all we are all in favor of Dak getting money, but I'm just I just can't. I'm just not sold on no forty million. That's that's the no, only not thing I'm not sold on. No, if it was maybe, my franchise, I would not want that to happen. Maybe 30, 20, 30 at the cap at the most. 25. 25, 25 to thirty. 25, 25 to 30. Okay. 27. You give me Dak at 27, I'm fine with that. Okay, I go 27. Like I said, I don't believe in highway robbery, but 27 is fine. Hmm. But uh, back to the Falcons. Clearly, clearly, they need to rebuild. They can't. I mean, what? You got aging veterans on big deals. You were 4 and 12 last season, underachieving, kind of like almost very similar to the Philadelphia Eagles. They made that Super Bowl run, and then once that once once that window closed up, the the, the gradual falling off the table happened. So mm. they got to rebuild, man. They got to get they got to stop trying to recapture recapture that 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 light and just just build a new one. Because your your peak your best time was when Matt Ryan was in his prime and Julio Jones is in his prime. That was your best opportunity to win a Super Bowl. Now that time's gone. I think I with this division, there's going to be a couple teams that are rebuilding for the future, not just the Falcons. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah. with the at least with the Falcons, they have assets that could get at least a first and second round picks for uh first. You're not, you're not, you're not getting a first for Julio. You're not getting a first for Julio. Yeah, if if, if what about a late round, first round? What about a late first round pick? No, Still yeah, you no? Can get a late first round. Yeah, you can. I think you get a late. Yes, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not for? Because one thing you need to you need to take into consideration is the cap hit that they're going to get by taking that contract, and then you have to think about his age, injury history. You're not you're not getting anything more than a third. Wow. For Julio, you're not getting anything more than yeah. a third for Julio. Now, Matt Ryan, that's a little bit tricky because he's still a quarterback. He's still a quarterback. So, and he's been fairly healthy over the course of his career. Mm-hmm. So, and you're getting them for $27 million, which the, the the market value right now is what, 30, 35, maybe? And and Matthew Stafford just got moved for one. Yeah, so. and Matthew Stafford just got moved for one. And he's what, three years younger than him. Uh, but as far as Julio is concerned, you're not getting no first round pick for Julio. Hmm. It'd be tough. You don't, you don't, you don't have to pick a, you know, it's not even a second round. No, no maybe. I, I, would you pay a second round for Julio? I would not, but a team <laughs> like they, but the, I would not, but a team like the Houston Texans would. Do they even have a second round pick? I don't even know if they have a GM mm-hmm. to be honest with you. So to be honest with you, hey, 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 check this out. <laughs> I could see, I could see Green Bay doing that because uh, I think between him and Aaron Rodgers, that would be a great, a nice Ooh. little duo. That would be nasty. Julio and Devontae? That'd be lovely if they had the cap space. That's if the so Packers great. had the cap space, right, yeah. 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 Remember we did the Packers. They had, I Never, remember but remember Atlanta, like Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta mm-hmm. pays the guaranteed money, so – he could re he could he, uh, he could easily Julio could easily go to uh go to Green Bay and kind of restructure his deal to make it. We are, sitting, we are, current, we are currently sitting at negative eleven million dollars in Green Bay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, this is this is what happens when you get when you when franchises go into win now mode and don't win anything. You you end up with a bunch of dudes getting paid a whole bunch of money and you ain't mo you ain't going nowhere. Uh, hey, man. The, the Falcons are just that franchise. They they get close, you know. Back in the, I remember back in the day, the Dirty Bird era. Mm-hmm. Man, they got close then. Couldn't re, couldn't couldn't make it back. Mm-hmm. They remixed it. Try to bring it back. Couldn't do it again. So now they got to remix it again. Well, before we move on to the next team, just, just give me the third one time. Possible. I think remixing it because you know the Dirty Bird. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All I know is I was I was gonna say at um uh, Los Angeles Rams, but they don't got any first rounds to give. So oh for Julio, yeah. Why mm-hmm. why are we so stuck on Julio going for a first? I'm telling you, he's not going for a first. You're gonna get I, I bet if he ends up being traded this year, possibly closer to the draft, you're gonna he's gonna be giving up for like two thirds and a fourth or something like that. You know, you're not gonna see a first round pick come across that screen. That's 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 that, that, that's a bit low for Julio, I'd say. I'd say just just based on reputation alone, you know. I'm not saying he'll go for a one, but bare minimum he'll go for a two. How old is Julio? 30, 33, 34? 32. 32. 32? Okay. 32, 32. Okay. 32? Yeah. 32? Yeah. Wait, I just looked them up not too long ago. That's why I know. It's gonna take at least a two. Or a two or two threes, something like that. Or another player, I could see too. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think Atlanta would want draft picks. They're at this point, well, they're just they're just yeah. cap, they're just cap, they're just dumping money. Yeah, they're that's what I was about dumping. to say. They're they're, yeah. they're trying to they're trying to get rid of uh they're trying to get rid of money. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you said. Nah, for the bay. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you said. Nah, for the bay. Fire!